Hello there, welcome to ANSYS Artistry. Thank you for stopping by. I hope today's video is inspiring enough for you to try to create your own masterpieces. So today I have a canvas size 18 by 24 inches and I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour with rainbow colors. If you've been following me on YouTube, you know I love to work with rainbow colors and I've created a few of my own masterpieces with rainbow colors and every time it has been a different composition. So today is going to be another new one. Um, before I start today's painting, I want to show you how my previous rainbow painting dried. Here it is. I'm hoping you're able to see the entire picture. There we have it all the seven colors of the rainbow everything neatly seen in this painting there we have it i haven't given it a top coat yet so no resin or no varnish yet um, i'll let it dry for four weeks complete and then i'm going to put a top coat on it but here it is completely dried to the touch so the creation video for this painting is video number 56 on my channel if you'd like to check it out. I also want to show you another painting that I created long time ago or it feels like long time ago. This is video number 42 and this is my favorite rainbow painting. Here it is. This one has a resin top coat on it. So you'll see that glass like coating on it. This is my favorite rainbow painting. So there it is. So today is going to be another rainbow painting and I hope this will be more beautiful than the previous ones. So this is the vision for this painting. I want a split base, black and white, and I want to do rainbow colors, but I want to place the rainbow colors so that it makes a complete circle. I want to call this circle of colors. Um, and then before I layer them, like I told you, I want this to be a split base, black and white. So what I want to do is I've already traced out a circle in the center of the canvas. Inside of the circle, I want it to be white color. Outside of it, I want it to be black paint. Okay, so white on the center, black on the outside of the circle. And then along the circle, I want to layer um, these rainbow paints and it has to make a complete circle. Each color, I want it to be approximately same length. Okay, so that's the vision for this project and I'm not going to be using a blow dryer. I'm just going to use my mouth and blow it up. So sometimes my head might be blocking your view, but I'll try to move the camera around so you'll, you can see um, what I'm creating. Okay, so I've told you the vision. So now let's get this one started. Uh, all my paints here today are mixed with uh, Floetrol and water. I use the ratio one part paint to two parts Floetrol and a little bit of water. And I make sure all of this paint flow equally. So that means the consistency of all these paints are similar. Okay, so I'll be listing all the paints that I'm using in the description below. I have uh, three shades of each color. Each of these seven colors, I have three shades of each of these color. And that's what I'll be using in today's painting. I guess I've told you everything that needs to be said. This is the vision for the painting. So let's get this one started. So now I'm going to get the base paint down and I will be right back. So I'm back putting down the base paint 
in itself was a big project for me. Let's pop on these air bubbles. Now I'll start layering the paints, okay? So uh, when I drew the circle on the canvas, I measured what was the length of the circumference and it's approximately 31 inches and I divided that by seven. So I would get seven segments and each of them are approximately around four and a half inches. Um, if I'm going to count the overlap, approximately five inches, that should be the length of my segments okay four and a half to five somewhere in between that okay so let's start with the reds here we go Yep, that looks decent enough. Okay, now second shade of each of these colors. I'm going to add a little bit of the gold now. Okay, now for the third shade of each of these colors. So now I'm going to put a little bit of the zinc white in here. All right. A little bit of the titanium white, the same base on the inside and the same black 
on the outside. This is going to help spread my paints a little bit easily. Okay. Popping the air bubbles now. start blowing it out All right, I'll have to move you around and try to do the other part. Mission accomplished, right? <laughs> Whatever the idea, the vision was for this painting, I think I've achieved that. Let me bring you back to the original location. Is there anything else that I need to fix? Okay, I see that the purple is a little more closer to the edge here, so I'm gonna spread the green a little bit more to the outside, maybe a little bit on the yellow too. That's it, there we have a new composition. What I had in my head is right now on the canvas. It's a different, unique composition, so I am very happy with today's outcome. I'm gonna call this a wrap, and I'm gonna bring you down for a closer look. So here we go with the closer. The only metallic color in here is the gold here, and that's going to give a shimmer. So there we have it, the seven colors of the rainbow. Perfect petals, right? I like it. It turned out to be beautiful. I love the composition. The best part of this rainbow touch pour. There you have it. If you've liked this process, please do support me by hitting that thumbs up button and please consider subscribing to support my art channel. That's it for today and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.